Hi everyone, this is Lexi Lane again from wikimommy.com. In our previous video, we went over um, how to create sections for your article. Now we're going to go over the table of contents, which I can show you over here. Um, let me just get an example. Here's your table of contents right here. Um, actually, let me show you a better one. Here's one right here. And we will also be going over how to create an info box, which is this bit of information right here. Okay, so this information can be found in your useful tools um, page, which, it, which you can find in your left sidebar. So to create a table of contents, it's just this piece of code right here. Now it automatically defaults to the left-hand side, but if you want it to go on the right-hand side, you can copy this bit of code right here. So let's just do that and copy the top code. Um, let's go back into our article which is the sock about the sock puppet okay so let's insert that piece of code and if we preview it there it is voila there's your table of contents it's now created so if your visitor wants to go directly to that from to that bit of section right there they can go ahead and just click on it and it'll take them right there so now let's go into our info box um, so here are the different characteristics of an info box, um, but let's go into one. Um, let's go back into that article that I just showed you. Here's a really good one. So let's take this um, info box right here and just go into the view source up on the top and then copy this code. Now let's go back into this, into our article, um, paste that info box up on the top. I always put it on the top because it doesn't really matter where you put it. It's usually going to go on the top. So let's go ahead and preview it. And there it is. There's your um, info box right there. And of course, Roseanne is not the author of this um, article. So we would have to edit the information according to whoever the, article, the author is. So go ahead and do that. Um, I always direct them to their to the about me page of the author's site that way when they click on here they can um, find the information about the author so that's that's your backlink right there so you can um, you can have your backlink created right there and then known for oftentimes I put um, the website right there as well and whatever the name of the website is called um, so let's go and um, let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go into your t useful tools. Now if you want to add other characteristics on there that are not already on your info box, for instance, um, your weight. You want to, I recommend you copy the code because a lot of times it, the, the wiki is case sensitive, so a lot of times if you don't copy them directly, it's going to be um, it's not going to show up how you want it to so let's go back into the article Oops. let's edit and let's go ahead and insert that characteristic don't forget to make sure that you insert a vertical um, line right there just like all the others have it so let's go ahead and insert weight what else your weight is 98 pounds okay yeah we all wish okay so save the page and voila there it is there's your weight right there um so we've now created the table of contents and the info box for um, your articles so i'm gonna go ahead and create a separate video for um categories because it's li it may take a little bit longer um to explain so that concludes our um, article creation series. And please, please come and visit me on the categories of the series because it helps to maximize your article's exposure by learning how to create categories. So hope to see you all there. Bye now.